Delicious move. What is going on guys, TVM here, welcome back to another video, we are going to take a look at the 88 rated team of the season, Kevin Campbell, we're going to work our way from the bottom, this is arguably the quote unquote worst Bundesliga team of the season card, uh, if you are looking to do the guaranteed SBC or looking forward to your rewards on Thursday, you're probably going to want to avoid this guy, but having said that, he still has some pretty decent stats, there are a dozens of chem styles you could use on this guy. Nearly every single attacking chem style or even midfielder sort of chem style has a, uh, a warranted reason to be used. Hi, hi. Uh, four star weak foot, three star skills, 5'10. Box to box midfielder in, in all the, like, every sense of the word, really. Kevin Campbell was a FIFA 13 and FIFA 14 legend on the channel, really. Used to use him a, an awful lot back then. It was a really good card, uh, really good card, although it wasn't really a good card because if he looked at it, it was like, oh dear, no, not that great, but I really enjoyed it. Now, in terms of stats, he's very well rounded. I would say that even as a CDM with the right chem style, you'd actually be looking at a fairly good card. You know, it's one of those sort of box-to-box, -box, very versatile players. You can do whatever you want with him. I'm going to throw him into a 4 triple 2 and I'm also going to put him into a 4 2 3 one and I'm going to see which position sort of suits him best and the which way that I would prefer to use him. I mean, I'm looking at it from a cam point of view, but I can definitely see with the right chem style why you'd think maybe a CM or even a CDM would be the right position for him. Uh, I think there was a... Is it a backbone... Or Powerhouse, I think it is. Yeah, it's Powerhouse. With a Powerhouse camp style, he goes up to a 91 rated CDM, which is quite good considering he's 88 rated and he's only about 70,000 coins and he's a team of the season card. But um, there are countless camp styles you can use. I mean, Marksman's got uh, got its its argument. You've got an artist, an architect. Maestro is a very, very good shout as well. I'm personally, though, going to go for an engine. And the reason I'm going for an engine is so that I get a small pace boost which uh, can be can be useful. Uh, let me go down and apply it, and I'll show you exactly what we have, uh, what we're working with. So we're going to get a nice little pace boost in the sprint speed department. I'm not bothered about the acceleration. It's the sprint speed I want. So that goes up to 87. His short passing is now perfect. Long passing is perfect. Vision is 98, more or less there. We get a touch increase on the crossing, which is something that I really did want. Now, the reason I want to do that is in a 4 triple 2 he's going to be playing left cam. And there is a very good chance that we can get around the outside with him, pop a ball into the box, as he does have a four-star weak foot, so we can use left or right, and we can whip that into the area, and there's going to be plenty of bodies in the box. The other good thing about that is his long shots are 86, shot power is 81. I feel like that is just about good enough to be able to score some long-range efforts with how overpowered first-time shots are in FIFA 19. It should be quite simple to get Gareth Bale to cut inside and then just to play it into feet of Campbell and Campbell, sorry, and for him to be able to just smash it home from distance. We've also then refined dribbling, ball control, reactions, balance up to 95, agility is 99. I don't feel like the physicals need touching. The jumping, it would be kind of okay if he, he had sort of 96 jumping, but it's not the end of the world because he can't head the ball anyways. Heading accuracy is awful. Very good interceptions for a well, what I'm playing as a cam, uh, but like I said, you can use him as a box-to-box. -box. Very good stamina, of course. Strength, it wouldn't matter if we did increase that because he's still going to be well below 80, so there's no point in my opinion. It's a reasonably well-rounded card. It's not the best card on the market, but for 70,000 coins, I've definitely seen worse. Um, they don't have faces, but Kai Havertz, Player of the Month card, did the loan, got him in there. Um, I actually sold my inform uh, Joel Matip, which was a bit of a mistake because I've needed him since. But we do have Dejan Lovren, the meme that is Dejan Lovren in the uh, centre-back position. But like I said, 4 triple 2 will be the main focus of my like formation. And then I'll switch into a 4 2 3 one if I'm struggling. But without any further ado, let's get into the gameplay. So, into another game we go. Uh, a couple of icons knocking about. That Mirosav closer card is awful, by the way. Um, but apart from that, he's got a, a very basic team. Let's hope we can take advantage and uh, let's uh, see what Kevin Campbell can do. Forward run by Kevin Campbell already. He's on the wrong side, but I don't think we've had chance for my uh, my formation to... Fuck me. Here's Kai Havertz playing in a, a really sort of random role. Kebalos into Campbell. 
He doesn't have four star, but he does have nice uh, three star skills, good close ball control. Wins the ball back, plays it all the way back to the left back because that's something I wanted to do. Uh, we've got Kai Havertz here again. This guy's read what I wanted to do with that and go backwards. Campbell, Kebalos. Campbell's been fouled. I'm going to take the free kick there. I honestly thought that he wasn't going to give it to us. But uh, Kevin Campbell already feels very quick on the ball. Uh, very agile. He's won himself a free kick. He does have 93 free kicks here. Oh, and he's got that angle as well. I'm, do you know what? I think I'm going to go for goal here. He's got that angle that I really like about free kick takers. And it's saved by Van der Sar. But I love it when they stand that far to the side of the ball. Because you can bend it like Beckham. Here's uh, Kevin Campbell. Ball rolls for days. Plays it inside. He's going to get it back. No, he's not. He will get it back eventually. There it is. I wanted to play that to Kai Havertz. This, uh, this isn't listening. Gareth Bale on the turn. And it's in the back of the net, I was about to say. He's, uh, he's just missed the target. Nice football on the edge, though. And I honestly thought that was a goal. To Havertz. This is uh, Kevin Campbell with some ball rolls. Nice close ball control. He's, I mean, look how quick he is on the ball. And we've got a foul. I don't understand why. I was away, right? But um, he's won another foul. Or free kick, I should say. And I'm probably going to whip this into... No, I'm going to go for goal again. He's got that ability. He's got it in his locker. There he is. And another save by Van der Sar. One day, I will catch that goalkeeper off guard. But we've hit the target twice with two free kicks. And he's won both free kicks himself as well. Kibalos. Campbell manages to turn his man he's so quick he's just pushed him off the ball there lovely ball roll flicks it up as well Kevin Campbell is a very nice card at the moment I'm really enjoying him he's so nippy on that ball inside it comes waiting for Gareth Bale to make himself available this is uh Rivaldo could have laid that off to Campbell but decided to go for glory and get on the floor van der Sar lifts it Campbell can he win the header yes he can Paulson on the turn, hits it. Great save from Van der Sar. Van der Sar keeping this guy in the in the game at the moment. Campbell, Paulson. Campbell again. Little layoff here. Campbell's going to go on a run, and I can sense it. Here is Campbell. First time cross off the scoop. It's not a great one. Back in from Bale. Oh, what a terrible, terrible, terrible touch from Gareth Bale. It was a weak foot cross from Campbell. It, it, it hit the target, really. I mean, Bale would have got there. Well, he did get there. But uh, it was an awful touch from Bale. And uh, Van der Sar just retrieved. But it wasn't a terrible cross. He could have put it back into the box. And there he is to defend. Plays a nice ball to Rivaldo, who's been fouled. We will play on, though. Havertz through the middle here to Campbell. Spreads it. Nice. Outside of the right foot. Good ball for Bale. Bale drags it back, puts a ball into the box. Paulson is there, and that is 1-0, and that is a very well-worked goal. Cross nonetheless, but still a very well-worked goal. And a guy that should be team of the season currently, Yusuf Paulson, remains to be seen whether he'll get himself a team of the season through SBCs. It looks like the ship has sailed now, to be honest, but uh, fingers crossed for the next couple of days. And um, we're 1-0 up. And Diddy took his time. This back into Campbell, back into Campbell again... Goes for it, hits it in the green. It's straight down the throat of Edwin van der Sar, which is a shame because I feel like um, Campbell has been very, very good. I'm not forcing him the ball. He, I'm allowing him, you know, freedom of movement. He's overlapping there again. He might just be onside. No, he's off. It's a shame. Uh, but um, he's his positioning is usually very, very good. He's moving around very nice. He's so quick on the ball. And uh, I feel like he's... Um, and he's, and he's very good at like tracking back and making challenges and things as well, which is obviously part of his game. I like it a lot. It's a very good card, for, especially for what it is. And that's a great ball. Rivaldo's touch was dreadful, and he still put it in. That is a great goal. There's Origi up to Rivaldo. Up the line here to Campbell, who's on the wrong side, but he's come over to help because he realizes... And that was great football. He came over... Uh, he realised that the, the play was on the right-hand side of the pitch. There was no way he was going to get the ball on the left. He's come over to help out, and he did. And if there was more time in that game, I'm pretty sure he would have come back around and we could have played through. And um, all in all, I was very... It was a close game, but it wasn't at the same time. Like, I was in control of that from start to finish. My guy has scored uh, against the run of play, basically. But um, it was a very, very good attacking display. As you can see there, 
Uh, Paulson has played fantastic. Rivaldo had a good game. Bale, before he got taken off, actually did quite well, even though he got booked. It says Kevin Campbell's played a 7.7. Don't let that fool you. He was arguably the best player on that pitch. Paulson did have a really good game, but Kevin Campbell was very, very good in that game. It's actually been a little while since I recorded that segment. I've gone away. I've played... I actually went straight into some squad battle games, incidentally, because I wanted to get Eggerstein done, and I just put him into the team with the rest of the Germans. And he performed quite well on World Class, if anybody's interested. But I went back into Rivals to make sure that I had enough points to finish rank 3 on this account, because it's not really an account I use that often. And he was just consistent. And I think that's the word I'm looking for here. I don't have, like, super high consistency on him, because there wasn't, like, a, a time where... Like, for instance, I think there was a clip in that game where you saw him break away from his marker, and he actually essentially pushed him to the ground, because that was a display of strength. He only has 60 strength. So there's a consistency issue with that. Sometimes he can do that. Sometimes he just put, gets pushed off the ball himself. I think it depends on sort of the body type he comes up against. But overall, I was so happy with that card, considering it's the worst, quote-unquote, um, Bundesliga team of the season card. If you've got this as your um, one of your player picks and your rewards or you get it in your guaranteed pack or something, I, honestly, I know it's hard to, to not be upset, but try not to be because... It is a very, very good and what I would class as an underrated card. And yeah, you might want to chuck it into an SBC, but I do urge you to try it out first. The lack of skill moves is annoying, and the lack of decent crossing with his left foot can be frustrating. But apart from that, realistically, there aren't that many negatives. He's a very, very good card for fun users to try out you know not competitive players just players are trying to play the game and have a bit of fun if you've got a Bundesliga team maybe you're on a budget this is a very very good option he's not an elite card maybe you could bring him on as a sub in foot champs if you really want to I wouldn't be against it I think it's nice I like it I'm not, I don't really have that many complaints I was cons I was really expecting worse but um, he surprised me in a very good way. Let me know what you think of him in the comment section down below if you have enjoyed it though smack that like button subscribe to the channel for you and until the next time Goodbye.